They'll be calling you a radical. We walked from Washington Square down here to Hamilton's grave. As you can see, it's covered up. But every time this country has got in economic trouble, social trouble, fabric, everybody has always gone back to Alexander Hamilton. Lincoln went back to him. FDR went back to him. The Tariff Act of 1789 was not based on protectionism, though the word says to incentivize buying homemade goods. So this free market fairy tale and rant philosophy we have, and you say, how does this tie into nuclearism? This ties all the way into nuclear because this comes to a morality issue. The truth. Nuclear is the biggest lie. It is the biggest 1% scam in the history of the world. Nuclear makes the bankers look like church mice. It really does. It is the biggest cash cow. We don't need it. It's the dirtiest fill, and it's killing us. So we have a new argument. Yeah, income equality? That was Hamilton's, and we did it through tariffs. So you could disagree with me, and you got, we're out of economic options. We're out. The federal inter, the interest rates been zero. That's the feds. And everybody says, oh, God, the fed, the fed. 1913, we invented the Federal Reserve. Blah, 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 blah. No, we invented the freaking central bank clear back in the 18th, 1770s. Right there, it's always been around. No, has it taken new names? And very, but what have we always done to bail ourselves out when we're in this horrible trouble? Tariffs. Not just from an economic standpoint, which it pay off the debt like that, which it's always paid off the debt. We had more debt after the Civil War, paid it off the tariffs. More debt after the Revolutionary War, paid it off just like that. But how do you compete with slaves in China? That, just from an economic standpoint, the world workforce is 3 billion people. The American workforce is less than 100 million. It's a way left. You don't have to be an economist. But let's talk about it from the morality issue, which nuclearism. You think about Megan Rice. She could have picked anything she wanted. You know, in the Occupy movement, they told the tale. But we're about answers. We're about detailing and say, oh, how will terrorists fix nuclearism? It all is the culprit funnel who powers up. The, the funnel's getting smaller and smaller. The same people who own the nuclear power plants are the bankers. They're the JP Moore. They're the exact same people. We founded this country on morality. He was the anti, the original abolitionist. The original. Even Harry Beecher Stowe, it was Hamilton inspired him. But, you know, Lincoln, it was Hamilton inspired him. I mean, not, he took a bullet for this. He died for this. But he was not formally educated. He wasn't, and he was New York City. They called it Hamilton. But every single person in New York went to his funeral. You know, he did cost for the presidency, thank God. I understand Ackerman tells me that Al Gore's related to Burr, by the so way. Is Gore Gore so is Gore Vidal. That makes, doesn't it make a lot of sense? But really, we go back to these fundamental ideas. It's, this is human rights issues, and they come down to the fundamental issue of morality. Not in the morality of these Ted Cruz and Lee and these purity, phony, hairsprayed neocon assholes who say, oh, God, 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 those phony line fuckers are devils in hairspray. No, morality comes back to human rights, the experiment of America to have the right to a fair job and a fair wage and not have to compete against slaves. You don't just make that up. They're not going to do that. You have to do it. Handle this says, we're putting tariffs. We're, they're not going to bring exploited Chinese goods into this country. The East India Company, which is the Walmart of this today, you think it's different? Oh, we flattened up the world. Bullshit. They were doing it then. And we've always did. So the Anran experiment failed. That's why nuclearism, nuclearism would have been a dawn a long time ago if we had tariffs. Because the power structure. Nuclear was done a long time ago. It was fell. It's just like nerve gas. We have it. We don't use it. We put that away a hundred years ago. Just because we have nuclear, we put it away. But these guys have such power over you because they can. Here, let me pull the camera on our little crew here. These guys. <laughs> well, I made them walk all the way down here, by the way, today. They probably want to take my socks off. Buddy. Yeah, that, I mean, I told them we was going for a little walk. They didn't realize it was a marathon. Ten miles, ten miles. They're mad at me, yeah, but ten miles. <laughs> even ten miles, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, even the poor two-year-old, we took him on a marathon. You're gonna have to carry us back now. But we have answers yeah. with nuclearism. Shut them all down. A national policy to get rid of the waste. We get the best scientists in the world. We get the best minds in the world, and we get them together, and we have a national program to get rid of nuclearism. Megan Rice knows what she's doing. Stay on tuned.